You guys picked a great evening to come out and see some live comedy. The gentleman coming to the stage, you've seen him on Showtime and HBO. He just got back from performing for the troops in Afghanistan. Give that a big round of applause, yes? You guys will be able to see him the first week of November on Late Night with David Letterman. Please give a warm welcome for Floyd J. Phillips. Let him hear it! How y'all doing tonight? Yeah, me too. My name is Floyd J. Phillips. The J stands for genius. Everybody can't be one. I was at the Marriott in my hotel and I was uh, watching this early pregnancy test commercial. Have you seen that commercial? You know the one I'm talking about, right? Where the woman, she all happy because she pissed on the strip. <laughs> and to let her know she's having a kid. Cool technology. But it's been, around, it's been around for like, what, 35 years? They should update it, yeah. I think the woman should pee on the strip and it lets her know she's having a kid. Then I get to go pee on the strip, lets me know if I'm the dad. <laughs> When is that technology coming out? Because I don't think it's fair that I find out three years later on Maury Povich. <laughs> Flory, you're not the dad. Well, give me back those shoes. I also was watching a show about people with phobias. Now, if you're scared of snakes or spiders, that's fine. Because you can see a snake or a spider. But there at this one guy's house, because he's agoraphobic. You guys know what that is? People who are afraid to leave their home. He said it's been two years since he stepped one foot outside his door. I'm like, damn, that's a long time. The part that pissed me off, then he says this. And I don't think there's anything worse than being agoraphobic. Like having cancer, being paralyzed. How about this? being agoraphobic and homeless. <laughs> Checkmate. I'll start feeling sorry for him when it takes him two years to step outside a dumpster. But my friends, my friends, they get mad at me. Because I give homeless people money. You got friends like that to get mad at you? My friends get real mad, though. They be like, he's never going to do anything now, never. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Right before I hand them that quarter, <laughs> he did look like he's going to get up and go look for a job. <laughs> but my 25 cent messed up his whole day. <laughs> I'll get three more of these, I can go to Wendy's. You guys do realize a lot of homeless people have mental problems. You know, depression, schizophrenic. Some of them even have multiple personalities. Can you imagine being homeless and you have multiple personalities? <laughs> Every time somebody passes by you, they're yelling at you, get a job, get a job. <laughs> Maybe he has one. <laughs> But Darnell won't tell him where it's at. <laughs> That's probably why you see homeless people talking to themselves. Where the hell we work at? I ain't telling you shit. I'm going fishing. <laughs> quiet, quiet. You wake the baby. <laughs> Man, I got to move when I get back home. I hate moving. Don't you hate moving? Takes me a long time to move, man. Cause before I can move in anywhere, I have to go door to door first. I'm always like, yeah, my name is Floyd J. Phillips. And by law, I have to let you know I'm a registered sex offender. <laughs> I'm not one. But it sure keeps my neighbor's kids off my damn line. <laughs> I 
That's right. You hit a ball in my yard, you don't come get it. I stand right on the porch, drinking a carton of milk with a missing kid on the side of it. He was looking for his Frisbee. Speaking of abortion, I don't care if you're pro-life or pro-choice, I could care less. You know what I don't get? I don't get pro-lifers who kill abortion doctors. Ain't that kind of weird to you? I'm pro-life and I kill abortion doctors because I save lives that way, pal. You want to save more lives? Help prevent the unwanted pregnancy. How does it happen? A lot of times when somebody has been drinking too much alcohol. There you go. Pro-lifers should be killing bartenders. Because that's how you get overserved. You drink a lot of tequila. It'll make you think you took home a girl look like Halle Berry. But you wake up next to buckwheat with tits. And that's fun for no one. Have you noticed this? Have you noticed this? Some of the name of these drinks make you want to go home and have sex. You can go out to the bar right now, order stuff like what? Sex on the beach. Slow screw against the wall. <laughs> Fuck me hard and make me stand in the corner. <laughs> okay, that's my fantasy. <laughs> but ladies, would you have sex with a guy after he just bought you a drink called Child Support My Ass? <laughs> Followed by stretch marks on the rocks? <laughs> I think my work is done here. <laughs>